right, I'm going. It's on, it's on. Go. All right. <laughs> Settle down, Kenny. All right, we moved to French Fry Face Off before we uh, before we moved around number five. So, uh, French Fry Face Off. Here's how it works. You guys uh, are going to go head to head. Uh, two people go head to head, and the uh, first one to get two questions correct will be our winners. So the first uh, people I need up here are the first two people who can show me a picture of themselves in a winter hat. First two people who can show me a picture of themselves in a winter hat will be our two contestants. Damn it, I could have got that one. So, I know, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I got one right here, and I got one right here. All right. Oh, just a second too late. All right. Let's uh, come on up to the front, and let's meet our uh, two contestants. Uh, what's your name, sir? Alex. Alex, where are you from? Uh, Audubon, Pennsylvania. Audubon, Pennsylvania. All right. City of Light. All right. And you're going up against? John. John, where are you from? South Korea. South, South Korea. Korea. Ooh, the Sunshine State. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, here is our topic. Our topic is famous ands. Famous ands. All right. First question. You're going to ring it if you know it. No help from our studio audience. First question, Henry VIII's second wife. Anne Boleyn. Anne Boleyn is correct, the man from Audubon. All right. Uh, the next question, wrote the tenant of Wildfell Hall. She was an author like her sisters. That's the big hint, author like her sisters. Anyone, anyone? No, it is Anne Bronte. Anne Bronte. All right, next question. This 31-year-old actress has the same name as Shakespeare's wife. She appeared in The Devil Wears Prada. Anne Hathaway. Oh, that was a close one. Judges? South Korea. All right, all right, we're giving it to South Korea. We're tied at one apiece. All right, so all going to come down to one question. A lot of controversy. We can get the video replay. Yeah, we actually can. All right. Famous author of vampire novels. Famous author of vampire novels for the win. Anne Rice. Anne Rice is correct. And Audubon comes away with the huge two to one victory in thrilling fashion. Despite the controversy, still able to overcome. Well done. Let's uh, get two more contestants. Uh, let's see, let's do... Um, First two people who can show me themselves a picture of themselves in a hood. First two people who can show me a picture of themselves in a hood can be a hoodie, can be a hooded sweatshirt, can uh, be. He's trying to take a picture of himself. Photo. You can't take a photo. They got to shoot a video. You have to take your own. Come on, you got to have pictures of yourselves in a hoodie. Somebody. Somebody got one over here. Got one, all right, we got one here. Well, that's, that's terrible, but I'm gonna let you do it anyway because you're almost there last time. All right, and all right. All right, and uh, we got one contestant who just shot his photo. Okay, all right, let's uh, meet our contestants. What's your name? Catherine. Kathy, where are you from? Philly. Kathy from Philly and? Liam. Liam, where are you from? Dublin. Dublin, all right. Kathy versus Dublin, all right, here we go. Uh, first question, once again, our topic is famous ands. First question, wife of a recent presidential candidate. Wife of a recent presidential candidate. Yes, Dublin from Liam. Anne Romney. Anne Romney is correct. <laughs> Dublin from uh, Liam takes a one nothing He's advantage. Him Dublin from Liam. All right, next <laughs> question. A book about this fictional Anne was written by Lucy Maud Montgomery. <laughs> book about... Anne of Green Gables. Anne of Green Gables is correct. And Kathy from Philly. Kathy from Philly. Kathy from America. Trying to deliver uh, in this contest with one question. Oh, Dublin. Dublin what? Oakland. Dublin. Oh, Dublin. Uh, outside of Oakland. Okay, all right. All right. Here we go. Final question for the win. Name of a city in Michigan. For the win, Kathy. Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor is correct! USA! And the Americans get a huge, huge victory. All right, we'll move to round number five in just a few moments.